And there's the bell. Oh, man. Am I ready for this? Not today. Too fast. Sting turns the tide. Oh, now that was impressive, Cole. Ooh, that was stiff. The shoulders are down. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Harper will not stay down. What's your take on what Luke Harper's been going through? I like the pairing, Michael. These two work so well together as a team. There's the camel clutch, and somehow he's got to take the pressure off his neck. It's going to take a lot to change the tide of this one. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. If you're just tuning in, I'm Michael Cole. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday evening. And the offensive display by Luke Harper. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous Four. objects. Five. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Better be careful here. We've seen back injuries derail careers permanently. Potentially career-ending moves Luke Harper destroys an opponent with. Nothing is more frightening to see than his discus clothesline. When you see Harper's 275-pound frame begin its motion, the clothesline is one of the most punishing WWE has ever seen. That neck must be throbbing right now. He gets the tag. to avoid that Not today too fast oh, and he missed that one god that's gotta hurt yeah you're not doing any damage with swings like that but keep doing it the breeze may give him a cold oh it's a slaughter all right luke harper's discus clothesline is so dangerous he can finish an opponent off with it any time just when he seems to be down luke harper spins strikes and rearranges his opponent's jaw with that clothesline Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Wow, what offense! Extra slow getting back to his base here. There's the suplex. That was nice. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Quick thinking to avoid that. When the music hits, his chiseled silhouette sprints past you. And the ultimate warrior descends upon WWE from parts unknown. It's an awesome spectacle. Warrior shakes the ropes, rocks the ring, and pummels his opponent. His power transcends time and space, and you feel his energy when he enters an arena. Feel it. I feel even if you're tied to your seat, you're somehow going to get bowled over by Warrior's energy and power. Again, take it from me. Warrior's strength is not of this world, and it's all-consuming. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. The Ultimate Warrior's power and intensity knows no bounds. They do not possess any limitations and can bring the largest giant crashing to his knees. The Warrior's mantra is one he only shared with his fans and it will remain a great source of inspiration. 
always believe. And what a reversal from Sting. Oh, wow. Oh, he looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. The Ultimate Warrior is considered the forefather of ring intensity. A man who enters battles set to annihilate his adversaries and defend truth and all that is good. The Ultimate Warrior will go down in history as one of the most beloved and influential performance our industry has ever, ever known. We're looking at complete domination here. That packed a punch. Well, we're on the move here. Five. Getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. The Warriors giving the sign. Listen to this crowd, King. Perhaps Ultimate Warrior has this match won now, people. Now that's how you do it. And there's the reversal. Oh, out of nowhere. We speak a great deal about the Ultimate Warrior's power, and there's no bigger power display than his finisher. Warrior picks you up in a gorilla press. Great reversal. Look at the Warrior. He's pulverizing his opponent. Not today. Too fast. Quick thinking to avoid that. Sting tagged in. Watch out. That was power on top of more power. What a slam. That was a perfectly executed slam. King, earlier you described the Ultimate Warrior's unbelievable finishing move. And when you go down the list of WWE Hall of Famers and legends that Warrior defeated with the Gorilla Press Big Splash combination, it reads like a who's who of sports entertainment icons. Yeah, I know, Cole. Unfortunately, I'm one of the names on it. You don't have to remind me. Going for the cover. move people Luke Harper gets out of that one nice moves great match here but if you missed any of the matches from this week go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas here comes Sting a strategy against Eric Rowan Oh my gosh, where do you begin? Scorpion deadlock, Sting's got it now. Sting is in command, this should be over soon. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Not today, too fast. Acro hey, the shoulders are down. Two. That's it for Eric Rowe. Eliminating Eric Rowan was no small task, that's for sure. We're seeing the maddening effect of Luke Harper's offense can have on opponent. This monster wants to take a Harper back suplex face buster. Luke Harper's dancing with the one that brought him. I can't imagine anyone dancing with Luke Harper. This guy's repulsive. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. He's setting it up. Oh, no. The discus clothesline is going to end it. I think you're right, Cole. This one's history. Here's the cover. Loss. 
I know Sting really wanted this one. Yep, there's the reversal by Luke Harper. And now Luke Harper sways the match his way here. You know, when I think of the Ultimate Warrior, there's one thing I think of more than anything else. His immeasurable power. Combine that with his kinetic energy, amazing endurance, and unstoppable drive, and it's no wonder he's achieved such greatness, including body slamming and defeating Andre the Giant. The strength and intensity of the Ultimate Warrior has propelled him to this point. This might be one of the greatest challenges Warriors ever faced. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Oh, this is not going to be good. Uh oh the body splash. Oh, I hate those. And he goes for the cover. This is it. Harper reverses it. Well, oh, you know, for a big guy, Luke Harper can really move. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. What agility! Both entertainers go down in a big power slam. Somebody's gonna get hurt in this match. He thinks he has it. Two. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. And here comes Luke Harper. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. No kidding, this is getting ugly. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. The crowd on hand tonight clearly fired up for this match here on Superstars. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Few superstars are as dominant. What a move! What a smart move! Does anyone see this? I mean, he's employing highly illegal tactics here, and all unbeknownst to the official king. This is shameful. I can't believe this official. The tension, the drama. Will it be? I can't believe what we saw in that match. You want to talk about crowd pleasing? I can't believe what. Here are your winners Luke Harper and Eric.